A comprehensive timeline of Silvergate's downfall. Silvergate marketed itself as a crypto-friendly banking services provider, but unsurprisingly, it ended up providing financial services to firms that were once the world's second largest crypto exchange and market maker, FTX and Alameda Research. As the world has discovered the reality behind Silvergate's business, investors have progressively sold off shares as they dropped from the $238 November 2021 height to under $13 today. Not only that, even senators are probing Silvergate regarding inappropriate transfers of FTX customer funds into Sam Bankman frieds trading fund, Alameda. Senators Roger Marshall, Elizabeth Warren and John Kennedy, in a letter to Silvergate, wrote, quote, Your bank's involvement in the transfer of FTX customer funds to Alameda reveals what appears to be an egregious failure of your bank's responsibility to monitor for and report suspicious financial activity carried out by its client, end quote. The Senators are also demanding that Silvergate release all relevant records and want it to, quote, answer a set of questions to provide the public a full accounting of its relationship with FTX and Alameda, end quote. With Silvergate's reckoning still playing out, below is a timeline of events that led up to and hastened the company's collapse. Historical Timeline of Silvergate August 17th, 2017, Silvergate passes $1 billion in total deposits. February 26th, 2018, Silvergate raises $114 million in a common stock sale. November 16th, 2018, Home Street Bank acquires Silvergate's business lending team and retail branch in San Marcos, California. October 28, 2019, Silvergate opens its initial public offering of Class A common stock. November 12, 2019, Silvergate closes its IPO of Class A common stock. November 18, 2019, Silvergate announces the closing of its underwriter's option to purchase additional shares. January 14, 2020, Silvergate launches Silvergate Exchange Network, a controversial system for moving funds between Silvergate accounts 24-7. January 21, 2020, Silvergate hires Benjamin Richmond as Senior Vice President and Director of Digital Currency. June 16, 2020, Silvergate expands Silvergate Exchange Network, which provides access to US dollar loans using Bitcoin as collateral. October 6, 2020, Silvergate completes $100 billion worth of transfer volumes across Silvergate Exchange Network. October 26, 2020, Silvergate discloses $586 million in digital asset-related deposits. January 26, 2021, Silvergate closes a follow-on public offering of Class A common stock. March 9, 2021, Silvergate opens an at-the-market sale of Class A common stock. March 29, 2021, Silvergate selects Fidelity Digital Assets as a custody provider for Silvergate Exchange Network leverage. July 7, 2021, Silvergate hires Elliptic to provide Know Your Customer slash anti-money laundering services during customer onboarding. April 20, 2021, Silvergate files quarter 1 2021 earnings. May 12, 2021, Silvergate announces Deal to be the exclusive issuer of DM's stablecoin. May 18, 2021, Silvergate announces completion of an at-the-market equity offering. July 28, 2021, Silvergate announces pricing of a planned $200 million depository share offering. October 27, 2021, Silvergate announces its virtual appearance at Bank of America Securities 2021 Banking and Financials Conference. October 29, 2021, Silvergate CEO Alan Lane says Silvergate Capital processed more than $160 billion in digital asset-related transfers in quarter 3 2021, a 300% increase over quarter 3 2020. November 11, 2021, Analysts at JP Morgan give Silvergate Capital an overweight rating and say the stock could increase by 60%. November 22, 2021. 
Shares of Silvergate trade to their all-time high of $239 per share, which has never been subsequently surpassed. December 6, 2021. Silvergate prices a public offering of Class A common stock. December 9, 2021. Silvergate closes its Class A common stock public offering. December 16th, 2021, Silvergate and EGF Capital launch a fintech joint venture fund. January 12th, 2022, Michael Perito of KBW discusses upgrading Silvergate Capital to an outperform rating during an appearance on CNBC's Power Lunch. January 18th, 2022, Alan Lane estimates that any Federal Reserve-backed digital currency is likely still years away. January 27th, 2022, Facebook's DM Association sells assets, including intellectual property, to Silvergate. DM had planned to release its own stablecoin, but Mark Zuckerberg was called into Senate testimony, and DM ran into numerous obstacles, regulatory issues, and questions from members of Congress. February 2nd, 2022. Silvergate says it will use the DM Association assets it acquired from Meta to launch its own stablecoin. Alan Lane said Silvergate will attempt to convince former DM Association members to support its stablecoin. February 15th, 2022. Silvergate adds support for euros to Silvergate Exchange Network. March 29th, 2022. MicroStrategy takes out $205 million loan from Silvergate. It puts up $820 million in Bitcoin as collateral. MicroStrategy says it will use the money to buy more Bitcoin. April 19th, 2022. Silvergate releases quarter 1 2022 earnings, beating analysts' estimates by 75%. Stocks jump by 13%. April 26th, 2022. Silvergate CEO Alan Lane discusses helping MicroStrategy use its Bitcoin as collateral for a loan to buy more Bitcoin during an appearance on Bloomberg's Crypto Reports. June 1st, 2022, Silvergate CEO Alan Lane appears on Bloomberg podcast Odd Lots to discuss stablecoins in the wake of the Terra Luna collapse. June 13th, 2022, Wells Fargo calls Silvergate a buy opportunity despite bearish digital asset markets. June 16th, 2022, Alan Lane denies being surprised by volatility in digital asset markets during an appearance on CNBC's TechCrunch. July 19th, 2022, Silvergate reports that digital asset-related deposits remain sturdy in quarter two 2022, despite a downturn in markets. October 25th, 2022, Silvergate launches 24-7 customer support. November 7th, 2022, Silvergate promotes Ben Reynolds to president and hires Kate Frara as chief risk officer. November 10th, 2022, Bank of America downgrades Silvergate Capital stock, citing uncertainty in digital asset markets. November 11th, 2022, Silvergate publishes a statement saying that FTX accounted for less than 10% of account holders' deposits. November 16th, 2022, Silvergate publishes a mid-quarter update and announces plans to participate in Oppenheimer's fifth blockchain and digital assets summit. November 18th, 2022, Alan Lane discusses the impact of the FTX situation on Silvergate and the overall digital asset market on CNBC's Power Lunch. November 28th, 2022, Sam Bankman-Fried admitted that FTX-related user deposits were routed through Alameda Research's bank account at Silvergate. November 28, 2022. Silvergate denies having any outstanding loans to BlockFi. It describes its exposure to BlockFi as minimal. November 30, 2022. Alan Lane discusses the digital asset bear market on CNBC's Squawk on the Street. December 5th, 2022, Senators Elizabeth Warren, Roger Marshall and John Kennedy send a letter to Silvergate requesting records of FTX's fund transfers. December 13th, 2022, Lameda CEO Ram Awulalia and former hedge fund manager Mark Cahodes debate the potential impact of FTX's bankruptcy on Silvergate Capital on the Unchained podcast. December 21st, 2022, Silvergate CEO Alan Lane responds to queries from senators, saying that job performance issues were not a factor in his son-in-law's move away from his position as Silvergate's chief risk officer.
January 4th, 2023, Judge John Dorsey orders the seizure of FTX funds held in a Silvergate bank account. January 5th, 2023, Silvergate lays off 40% of its staff amid a steep decline in its stock price. Depositors withdraw $8.1 billion from Silvergate's accounts. Moreover, Silvergate reportedly incurs a $718 million loss while selling $5.2 billion worth of reserves to satisfy some of those withdrawal requests. In addition, ARK Invest discloses selling $5 million in Silvergate Capital stock and publicly traded Marathon Digital pays down a $30 million revolving line of credit at Silvergate Capital. This frees up 3,615 Bitcoin it had posted as collateral. January 6, 2023. JP Morgan downgrades Silvergate Capital stock from overweight to neutral and adjusts its price target from $30 to $14. On the same day, Alan Lane denies having any loans or investment in FTX in a letter to investors. He accuses short sellers of spreading speculation and misinformation. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter and Google News or listen to our investigative podcast, Innovated Blockchain City.